Okay, here we have a demo of programming the CR8900 at the moment. It's got the default configuration. I've put a modified excuse to light file. Try to hold the camera still. Uh, you can see some frequencies I've added. These are 27 megahertz marine frequencies. Standard channels. Modified emergency channel. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I have this saved in my modified file. I'm going to save it. Of course I do. Then I will first read the radio. And ask me. Do you want to read from the radio? Say so, OK, it's reading. We'll quickly go to display. It shows PC. Still reading. Now completed. And on the screen it shows radio data. Read data complete, sorry. Then I'll go open. Um, no, I'll select the right option actually. We go file, open. Uh, I don't want to save the modified one, so I go no. There's a couple configs, and the top one is the one I want. Okay, and I'll write to the radio. Which let's get that right. Write to radio. Okay, it prompts me, and away it goes, and quickly, let's see just what happens once it's complete, 70, 80, 90, 100, again it says write data complete, I'll just click OK, and then what I'm going to do, Let's just power off the radio. I'll wait a moment. I'll power it back on again. Okay, everything looks okay. Bear with me. Let's see what's happened. Right, channel 40, and now I should go to channel whatever it was, 62, I think. No, 51. Sorry, it doesn't that that many channels. Okay, so there's my modified marine channels just above the normal 40, back to channel 1. I also modified bear with me, I'll go to E for the free band frequencies, which go just to take 10 kc steps. None at odd steps. Beautiful. And we'll go to band F, which are 10 meter freaks, and they should all be in 10 kc steps. Beautiful. That's a bit of a calling frequency here in Australia. Okay, there you have a. I've seen the, some of the basic steps in reprogramming. 3900. Um, <coughs> excuse me. My uh, USB lead uh, seemed to work okay. Um, I didn't have too many issues. But if you have a look here, excuse the lighting again. In the setup, in the COM port, I ended up in COM12. And all I had to do was go into, I guess we can go through this. I went into control panel, I'm talking about Windows Vista here I went into the system and then I went into the device manager uh, I allowed that and I had a look in the COM ports and it showed me what COM port was installed 
because first when I set it up it wouldn't work because it had a different COM port so hopefully that should work uh, or just a little bit of a hint not a thorough but uh, with an outline of what to do uh, the programming of the radio is just really nifty and you can do lots of things thank you very much for watching